Amen. But he is not the owner of the of the executive pastor of kingdom of Jesus Christ, but he is considered as a trustee. When say trustee, pinagkatiwala sa kanya ang kingdom of Jesus Christ. Uh, Mr. Chair, ano-anong properties ang uh, pinag-uusapan natin? Ano-anong uh, properties ito ng uh, KOJC na uh, kung saan trustee ang executive pastor? I am not the best person to answer that, Mr. Chair. I am just a lawyer or the legal counsel of SMNI. It's his job to delay this uh, contempt. Alam naman natin, uh, Tony Topacio, kahit na sa'yo, naniniwala ba kayong sisipot si Pastor Kibuloy? So, Mr. Chair, ulit clarify yeah. ko. Ang executive pastor as uh, corporation soul ay investor siya sa Swarasug. Am I correct, Mr. Chair? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. So, Mr. Chair, uh, can uh, the uh, attorney explain uh, ano ang function ng isang uh, corporation soul? Uh, when I say corporation soul, I already explained that in our previous hearing, Mr. Chair, uh, that a corporation soul, the, the head of the corporation soul, he is considered as a trustee of all the properties of the corporation. So, today, the head of kingdom of jesus christ is in the person of marlon Jacobo. he is the trustee of all the properties and and he's considered as the head of the corporation but he is not the owner of the of the executive pastor of kingdom of jesus christ but he is considered as a trustee when say trustee pinagkatiwala sa kanya ang kingdom of jesus christ the real owner are the members of the religious organization uh, Mr. Chair, ano-anong properties ang uh, pinag-uusapan natin? Ano-anong uh, properties ito ng uh, KOJC na uh, kung saan trustee ang executive pastor? I am not the best person to answer that, Mr. Chair. I am just a lawyer or the legal counsel of SMNI. So I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair. Then, Mr. Chair, uh, we request uh, the legal counsel of uh, KOJC to answer. May I respond, Mr. Chair? Uh, may uh, may I respectfully request that the question be repeated, uh, uh, Honorable Manuel? Yeah, Mr. Chair, since na pangit na ang uh, executive pastor is ang trustee ng uh, lahat ng properties ng KOJC, I was asking ano anong mga properties ang pinag-usapan natin dito. Uh, uh, Mr. Congressman, marami po kasi eh. uh, We will be happy to furnish the committee with a list of the properties, but of hand. I would say properties dedicated to the propagation of the faith. Uh, there are houses of worship, places of worship, residences of uh, the workers for the church, uh, and others of a similar nature, uh, Honorable Manuel. Uh, Mr. Chair, maliban sa executive pastor, uh, meron bang iba pang uh, trustee or may similar function sa uh, pag ng ganitong mga properties ng KOJC? Uh, as a corporation soul po, yung uh, uh, executive pastor or elder or basically po, whoever heads the church is the sole trustee and administrator of the properties of the corporation soul, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Congressman. And sa ngayon, Mr. Chair, again, I clarify, that would be uh, executive pastor Marlon Rosete? Uh, yes po, upon... Uh, uh, Marlon Acobo, uh, uh, si, si Dr. Marlon Rosetti po is the president okay. of SMNI, uh, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, thank you din sa mga sagot. Pero Mr. Chair, ngayon doon po ako nalilito. Dahil uh, recently lang ay uh, na-announce po sa media na ang bagong property administrator ng uh, KOJC Properties ay uh, si former President Rodrigo Duterte. Pero Mr. Chair, ngayon we hear no, from the legal counsel of KOJC na ang uh, may task to uh, administer the properties would be the executive pastor. So Mr. Chair, ngayon uh, there are conflicting uh, accounts. No? At uh, I think this uh, 
causes confusion dito sa ating uh, committee dahil kung sa bahagi po nila hindi malinaw sino talaga yung nag administer ng properties. Ang dating sa akin, Mr. Chair, eh parang placeholder lang yung mga taong ito. Uh, yung pagkakaroon ng corporation soul, sino yung nakalagay dyan. It seems na hindi talaga sila yung uh, nagmamanage ng mga properties na dahil yung KOJC ay yun din naman ay... Uh, investor doon sa Suara Sog na siya ding nagmamanage ng SMNI. Kaya Mr. Chair, I think this uh, opens uh, more questions sa ating uh, committee dahil uh, I think wala namang recent issues na involved si uh, Executive Pastor. Kung merong involved sa parang issues ngayon, Mr. Chair, that would be Apollo Kiboloy. Pero bakit merong uh, pag-transfer ng uh, responsibility from the Executive Pastor as the Property Administrator to former President Rodrigo Duterte? Nakaka... <laughs> uh, actually, nakakalito, Mr. Chair, and I think uh, this compels the committee to go beyond uh, yung labels at kung sino lang yung mga taong nilalagay ng uh, KOJC o ng uh, Suara Sog sa kanilang mga uh, official records na pinapasa nila maging sa Securities and Exchange Commission. Yun lang muna sa ngayon, Mr. Chair. Uh, very briefly, Mr. Attorney Chair. Tupasio. Yes, very, I'm sorry. Uh, very briefly, Mr. Chair, uh, when we say administrator, uh, Honorable Manuel, that is in the concept of trustee of the properties. The executive minister remains trustee. But however, under uh, the general rules of administration in the civil code, or when read together with the provisions of the revised corporation code, of course, the executive minister or the elder or the archbishop, etc., of any religious organization cannot be expected to uh, comply with the uh, spiritual aspect of running a uh, corporation soul, a religious corporation, and the day-to-day -day administration. And the, corp the revised corporation code itself, Honorable Manuel, states that uh, there may be uh, uh, schemes in order to uh, assist the trustee in administering. Therefore, uh, the short answer is that the uh, executive minister remains trustee but in running the affairs of the... Uh, point uh, of order, Mr. Chair. Point of order. Mr. Chair, point of order. Yes, I'm Sir Chair. Point There's of order. Yeah. Kasi kan kanina ba, Mr. Chair, uh, we have resolved na siya na yung sasagot for Pastor Kibuloy. Kasi nag-explain nag na siya eh, yung tungkol doon sa... Uh, trust, uh, yung pag-turn over ni Pastor Kibuloy kay former President Duterte. At hindi pa siya, Mr. Chair, nag ang council ba uh, pwedeng mag, ano, magsalita for the, ano, for the, for Mr. Uh, for Pastor Kibuloy? Hindi po na resolve yun. Kasi yes. yung ganyan po well, ang nangyayari, Mr. Chair. Chair allowed yeah. already uh, yeah, so attorney Pasho. Yeah, so can we him, ano, yes. uh, take, her, so may, take his oath? May we ask, uh, uh, attorney, kayo lang po, Attorney Tupasio, kayo lang po. Ah, attorney Tupasio lang po. Okay. Attorney Tupasio, please raise your right hand. The Comsec, please administer the oath. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth before this congressional meeting shall help you, God. I do. Okay, thank you. Thank and you another are. question, Mr. Chair. Chair. Is his taking of oath as representative or general counsel of Kibuloy waive already the, ano, no. The, the client to answer questions no, here. No, Kasi no, yung, ano po, no. Ano po tanong nyo? So, so, ibig sabihin po ba yung pag-oot pag at pag-testify po ni attorney Topacio ay wini-wave na natin? Yung, yung ano yung po? Yung pagpunta ni Kibuloy dito? Hindi po. Kas, we will be okay. excited him so, in contempt and we will be asking for uh, that he okay. be... Uh, so, gusto lang po nating malinaw uh, yun. Ano? Kasi ang tanong po kasi ni, 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 ni Honorable Manuel po ay yung tungkol dun sa pag-turn over po. Yes, so, we, okay. we, he'll be requested, he'll be asked to appear okay. by uh, the uh, committee. So, and a proper motion will be... Uh, will be entertained in, in a while. Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, so hindi po yung sagot ni Ato, uh, ni Atty. Topacio yung sasagot doon sa Opo. mga tanong natin. Because marami pong yeah. okay. dapat sagutin si Pastor Kibuloy as explained earlier. Now, hindi po lahat masahal. Kung hindi nga hunasagot yes. ni Atty. Rolex at Atty. Mark yan. 
Then any prop in a proper time, uh, Mr. Chair, I will also move to invite then former President Duterte. Kasi siya yung in-involve in as op opinasahan ng, ng property. Okay. Mr. Chair, in proper time po. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay, so next. We are just prolonging this issue. We know very well that kahit na ano pang sabihin ni Atty. Topazio, he was hired by uh, uh, Pastor Kiboloy as a legal counsel. It's his job to delay this uh, contempt. Alam naman natin... Uh, Tony Topacio, kahit na sa'yo, naniniwala ba kayong sisipot si Pastor Kibuloy? These are just delaying tactics. Even though na mag na naman tayo next, iba na namang rason ng lila ibibigay. mag na naman tayo, ikapitong hearing, ibang rason na naman. When will this be concluded? As I've said, Mr. Chair, it is incumbent upon this committee. It is our obligation under the rules that we should cite him for contempt to compel him to appear in this committee, Mr. Chair. Again, on my second, uh, actually on my third um, uh, reiteration, Mr. Chair, my motion still stands. Thank you. Uh, to support the point of, just a point of clarification on the statements made by uh, uh, Attorney Tapasio, by the way, congratulations on your movie. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You mentioned that uh, you're off to see the good pastor tomorrow. Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. So that confirms that he's still in the Philippines. Yes, of course, Your Honor. He's okay. not going anywhere, Your Honor. Oh, kasi may mga balita na nag-ibang bansa na daw siya. At, uh... Ay, hindi po. Uh, Pagpapakuha po ako na litrato at ipaviber ko po sa mga members ng committee. I trust you, Attorney. Uh, Thank you po. I appreciate so, that, sir. Lang, I just wanted to reiterate, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, you know, we've been having this hearing since December of last year. November. Uh, November of last year. So, long playing album na po ito kasi November, December, January, February, March, I think. This can already be part of the Guinness Book of World Records as one of the longest hearings. This just goes to show um, the leniency and the patience uh, the Committee on Franchise has afforded to SMNI, to um, Suarezu, when it comes to complying with requests that have been forwarded to you. So... Um, on his proper time, Mr. Chair, I would uh, second the motion of Congressman Pimentel. Thank you, the Honorable Mr. Oh. The Honorable uh, Akarap Spadwano, then the Honorable Arlene. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Honorable Franz Castro. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, uh, I will not uh, anymore argue with uh, Attorney Topasio with regards to uh, the uh, jurisprudence regards to Senate Pierce Song. But uh, in the proper time, just in case we can talk about it, and uh, well, in fact, pati na yung balag, pwede natin pag-usapan ng no? balag case. But anyway, Mr. Chairman, ganito lang po. <clears throat> Kasi uh, the, the legal counsel of uh, of uh, Pastor Kibuloy is asking for a reconsideration. Is that correct? Uh, we are asking for uh, um, time to explain, Your Honor, because uh, as the rules uh, state, uh, the failure to appear must be without legal justification. So we are willing in, in whatever time allotted to us, Your Honors, so as to obviate any suspicion that uh, this representation is delaying. Actually, ayaw ko nga pong ma-delay, may lakad po kami nakaparot ng business ko next week eh. Pero uh, kung kinakailangan po, ay uh, 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 isakripisyo po natin yon. Ngunit, uh, I also understand the misgivings of the Honorable Johnny Pimentel that indeed uh, these uh, uh, hearings have been going on for quite some time but ang akin lamang po, uh, Your Honor, is uh, perhaps the committee would rather err on the side of constitutional rights rather than expediency. Yun lang naman po ang aking uh, humble appeal sa, uh, sa chair at saka sa mga miyembro ng committee nito. Salamat po.